My name is Holiday Granger and I play Bonnie Parker in Bonnie and Clyde. Describing Bonnie is quite hard. She's kind of obsessed with fame and obsessed with this idea of not being forgotten and being remembered in life and trying to make something of herself. Bonnie? What's wrong? Wait, hold on. Your time will come. Her own extracts from her diary talk about going to the pictures all the time. And so she has this kind of iconic silver screen that she's aspiring towards and this romanticised version of life that she wants. And so I think there's this definitely a side of Bonnie that's tenacious and manipulative and quite a go-getter, but also a very loyal and loving, a completely devoted to her mother, devoted to Clyde, and just a sweet girl under it all. Clyde offers for Bonnie a life that's far more exciting than the humdrum existence she's living at the moment that she meets him. You know, her first date with him is to an illegal speakeasy. It's during the Prohibition era and they're listening to amazing music and drinking liquor. And her husband's left her. She's in the pits of it all. She sees nothing ahead. And all of a sudden there's this shining light of excitement in the shape of Clyde. I don't know if I can remember a night that can hold a candle to this. It's almost like it's meant to be. I guess as an actor, you always have to bring bits of yourself to a role, because that's the main thing that you can draw on to make it natural. So I always try and put myself in kind of their position and think, if I was in that situation, what would I be feeling emotionally? So I guess in that respect, there's always a little bit of yourself that comes through. But it's certainly fun being able to play that kind of the obsessive darkness that I think is definitely more present in Bonnie and our script than it is in me, I'd hope. I finished the script and I was just like, she's a selfish, fame-hungry bitch. And that just made me want to play her even more.